Hi there, welcome to this quick 10 minute yoga routine. When you're ready, let's begin in a child's pose on our mats. Take your knees wide and soften your body forward, arms extending out long, forehead resting on the mat. Right away, relax the muscles in your face, your jaw, your eyes. And take a long inhale through your nose. Open mouth, let it go. One more time, in through your nose. Open mouth, let it go. Now continue breathing in and out through your nose. And turn up your ujjayi pranayama. So that's a breathing technique that makes your breath audible. This takes practice, just like everything else in yoga. So practice this breath, this muscle constriction in the back of your throat. It'll keep you focused and grounded. When you're ready, rise up into a tabletop position on your hands and knees. Then lower your belly down to lift your chin. Big breath in. Exhale to round your spine, tuck your chin, stretch out the muscles along your back. Inhale, cow pose, belly drops, chin lifts. Exhale to your cat back, round your spine. Keep going with your breath, slow and fluid, and feel free to add any other movement or variation that serves you today. Coming back to your neutral spine, fan your fingers out wide and grip into the mat. Curl your toes under behind you and lift your knees up only three inches. Use your ujjayi breath here to stay focused as you feel your whole body engage and the muscles in your core begin to fire up. Arms are strong, core is tight, legs are firm. Three, two, one. Send it back to downward facing dog. And bend one knee and then the other. Reach your hips high and back. Press your chest towards your thighs for a nice long spine. Now take a walk to the top of your mat into a forward fold. Feel free to separate your feet a couple of inches. Gently bend your knees so you can fold deeper. And if you'd like, add ragdoll arms or sway side to side. And then release your elbows. Toe heel your feet together to touch. With a gentle bend in your knees, pull your lower belly in and unroll all the way up to standing. When you come all the way up, bring your hands together at heart center and reconnect with your ujjayi pranayama. Sanskrit for victorious breath control. This engagement in the back of your throat not only allows you to hear and feel your breath, but it also allows you to pace your breath. So on your next inhale, reach your arms up for mountain pose. Firm up your body and to add a side bend, grab onto your left wrist and dive over to the right just a couple of inches. Feel your whole left side lengthen. Then come back to mountain pose and switch your grip. Grab onto your right wrist and dive over to the left. Make sure you're not curling forward. Keep your chest open. 
Come back to mountain pose, release your grip, then bend both elbows open for a mini back bend, like cactus arms. Lift up through your heart and keep your tailbone tucking under so that your lower back is long and your lower belly is engaged. Inhale to mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge at your hips, come all the way down. Next is halfway lift. Slide your hands up your shins, pull your heart forward, finding your long, flat back. Inhale. Exhale to fold, plant your hands on the mat and step your feet back into a high plank. Next is chaturanga, and we'll do this quite a few times throughout the practice today, so take whatever variation serves you in the moment. So bend your elbows and lower down halfway. You can always modify with your knees down. As you inhale, find upward facing dog. Lift up through your chest as you sink down into your hips, but keep your knees lifting off the mat for strong legs. And then send it back to downward facing dog. Curl your toes under, reach your hips high and back as you press your chest towards your thighs. And remember that you can modify or even skip that vinyasa throughout the rest of today's practice. Whatever serves you best today. In your downward facing dog, let's flow. Inhale, look up to your hands, bend your knees. Exhale, step your feet to touch at the top of your mat. For halfway lift, inhale, slide your hands up your shins, press your heart forward. Then exhale to forward fold. Inhale, rise up, mountain pose. Grab your left wrist at the top. As you exhale, dive over to the right. Inhale, back to your mountain pose, switch your grip, and as you exhale, dive to the left. Inhale back to your mountain pose for a mini back bend as you exhale, bend your elbows open, lift your heart up. Inhale back to mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift as you breathe in. Nice long flat back. Then chaturanga as you breathe out all at once. Plant your hands, step your feet back, lower down. Upward facing dog as you inhale. Downward facing dog as you exhale. Again, look up, bend your knees. Exhale, step your feet to touch top of the mat for halfway lift, then forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, dive to the right. Inhale, mountain. Exhale to the left. Inhale to mountain. Mini back bend. Back to mountain pose, breathe in, then forward fold as you breathe out. Slow and fluid, halfway lift, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale, nice and strong. Vinyasa through to your downward facing dog and take that flow one more time through. Feel free to make it your own. Add or subtract poses as you see fit. and we'll meet up in downward facing dog when you get there. Then take a seat on your knees. And that's it for our quick 10 minute yoga routine. If you like that, make sure you check out the 10 minute yoga playlist for more videos that you can do in 10 minutes or less. Don't forget to subscribe for new uploads every Friday and find me on Facebook and Instagram. Have a good day.